What's up, everybody? Caleb here at Matt Vibson Belmont coming to y'all to do a little, a new little video. Words are hard today. So, uh, last week we got a request on the comment section of one of our videos to do um, videos on all of our personal setups. I believe Jordan and Emily have already done theirs, so I'm going to go ahead and do mine today. Um, currently, I am running the Segeli Snow Wolf M Fang. I got the white and gold. I'm just a huge, like, white and gold fan lately. I don't know why. It's kind of a, like, I don't know. It's it's a recent, you know, addiction. Um, on top, I was running, previously I was using a Fireloop Mesh. Um, I'm just a huge fan of the Mesh stuff. Uh, we have a customer named Josh, though, that recently came in, probably about a month ago, and introduced us to the UL Fancier. And that's what I'm currently using. Um... Favorite thing about the UL fans here is I've always been a big fan of RDAs. That's what I started vaping with six years ago. And, you know, the inconvenience of having to drip and drive and, you know, it's just hard to constantly drip whenever you're running low on juice or something on your RDA. Um, so then I got into RDTAs. And RDTA, the first one that I owned and probably the one that I owned the longest was the Limitless Gold Edition. And, you know, you put the cotton and the coils in the top and you wicked your cotton down into the bottom where the juice reservoir was. Well, the Fancier does the opposite. The Fancier takes it so that you put your coils and your cotton down below and you put your juice on top, and it's got a ring right here in the center that you wick the cotton up through and around so that it's flat, and then the juice wicks itself constantly so it just lets gravity do the work, and anytime that the cotton is saturated, it'll just automatically pull more juice down without having to worry about it, you know, over flooding or anything like that. It is kind of tricky to wick whenever you first start using it, but um, once you get used to it, it's great. On top of that, the Fancier also comes with an RDA cap. So you just take your drip tip off, stick it on the RDA cap, and then you can slap that on there. It also comes with a BF pin, which is a bottom fed pin. It makes it so you can use it with squonk boxes. And from videos that I've watched on it and everything, the only thing you would do differently if you're just gonna decide to use it on a squonk box is if you want to take advantage of both functionalities of both the RDTA and the RDA, you would just take the cotton that comes out of the edges of the coil and you would just split it in half, wick part of it down into the juice well and then part of it up into the ring. So you would just have to use a little bit of extra cotton. I imagine it wouldn't be too complicated. Um, so there's the fancier. And with the fancier, I am currently um, using the black one. We have a blue, a rainbow, and a purple. The purple is really cool. It's kind of got like a purple-red transition to it. Um, and then back to the Snow Wolf. The Snow Wolf, it does go to 200 watts. It's got this nice bright LED screen on it. Um, kind of funny because backwards it looks like it says 500. But it's 200 watts. Uh, temperature control, you know, all the standard features. It's got a nice bright screen. It does have an option, which I use so that if you're... Let me turn this down a little bit. Uh, it's got a feature for battery saving so that if you're hitting it, the screen will actually cut off while you're hitting it. Which is cool, you know, it does actually make a difference on the battery life, I didn't really think it would until I started doing it. Um, probably gonna be my favorite mod so far. Uh, the drag is probably right there even with it, the drag, the original drag anyway. Uh, the drag is just, you know, it's probably never gonna drop below my top mods because of its durability. Um, it's got 157 watts on it. The Drag 2s recently came out. I do plan on picking one of those up soon. Those are 177 watts, you know, a little bigger. But the biggest change about them is that they slimmed them down some, rounded out the edges, so it's a lot more comfortable in the hand. Um, Juice-wise, I'm currently running Hawaiian Pog Ice. Uh, Hawaiian Pog by Naked is one of my favorite juices. Uh, it's right up there next to um, God Nectar with Bad Drip and uh, Harp with Conspiracy. You know, I like fruity flavors. Um, especially when they got a little bit of menthol to them. Uh, I kind of got away from desserts and stuff, as I'm sure if any of you have watched any of the videos about uh, Guess That Juice. First three out of the six and a half years that I was vaping, I actually vaped pretty much nothing but desserts and custards and burned myself out on them probably forever. Um, but yeah, pretty much any juice that has, you know, a little bit of menthol, a little bit of fruit is what I use. Uh, it's most commonly what I use, like 90% of the time, it's what you'll smell. Um, well, yeah, that's my setup. I really stopped using my pod device. I was using Novo. It is still one of my favorite devices, but again, just kind of got tired of salt nicks. Um, I bounce back and forth between two. I'm sure in a couple months, I'll start using salt nicks again, and, you know, I'll end up putting this down for a while. I've got a ton of different vape stuff, and, you know, after you've been vaping for so long, you get tired of stuff, and you got to change it up after a while. 
But anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, any more video requests, just post them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, everybody, y'all stay safe.